Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Art School. Today we are going to draw a moose. We have some Canadians watching my show, which is so exciting, and we've had a request for a moose. Did you know? Yes, I didn't know much at all about moose. But did you know that every year they lose their antlers and grow new ones? I didn't know that. That's really amazing. So, what does a moose look like? Well, I had to think about that very hard. I do my research on the University of Google because in Australia we don't have moose. We have spiders and snakes and koalas and kangaroos and, yeah, cuddly stuff but scary stuff too. So, moose, they have these great big antlers. They have really big noses and they actually, a lot of them have beards. Yeah, droopy bits. So, I started with the eyes again. And yet again, it's two eyes. Yes, how bizarre. And this time I'm going to draw the eyelids because moose kind of have these dopey kind of eyes. But you know what? I've heard moose can actually be pretty scary. You know, they're often in comics as being a bit dopey. But, yeah, they, they can be pretty dangerous. Hmm. We don't have dangerous animals in Australia. Oh, uh, maybe we do. Anyway, let's draw that great big honking nose. And we're doing a straight line into a curve and round and up there and stopping there. And then we draw a little bump and, yeah, just that little line on the end to make it a smile. And I'm doing a curve there at the top of the nose and two ginormous, humongous nostrils. That's right, like two little eggs. Now I'm going to draw the ears. And their ears are sort of big and floppy, or biggish, not as big as the bunny rabbit we did in the other video. And a little bit of spiky, messy hair there. And we'll draw another ear on the other side. It's just going to curve around there. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to draw is the antlers. And we'll start doing the wobbly, bumpy bits. And we're just going to do three wobbly, bumpy bits on each side. They actually have more than that usually, but, you know, let's just make it easy. I'm all for making things easier. So there's the first little bump and the next little bump and another one. They're kind of skinny bumps. Yep. And bring that right round into a big curve and taper it in towards the eye. Fabulous. Okay, let's, st let's stall. Let's also start. I have troubles talking sometimes. Let's curve that around there for the other antler and bring it up and in and up and back in again and another big curvy bit there and we're going to come back to the head and taper that out this time. This is the bottom of the antler and curl that right in and stop it right there at that edge of the antler. Very good, looking cute. Okay, let's stick in a little tongue. So I'm going to draw a tongue there. It's gonna be a big one, because moose have pretty big mouths. Yeah, yeah, they probably get themselves into a lot of trouble for saying stuff that they shouldn't, because they've got big mouths. Yeah, that wasn't very funny, was it? Anyway, it's always fun to try to be funny and laugh at your own jokes. Okay, let's add in the beardy bit. It's kind of a beardy bit. It sort of hangs on their throat, really. It's probably got a te technical name. Any Canadians out there, let me know if it does. And it really is just lots of kind of, oh, what would you call it? Little bumps. Bump, 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 bump. Back up there. And we're going to draw the first leg. We're going to draw my easy peasy cartoony legs. They look a little bit dopier that way. Curl it down and back up and around and go straight back down and a little curve and straight back up. And then we're gonna curve sort of down slightly and across for the belly. And we're gonna draw the back leg. So we'll start just up there and curl that round and straight down, well diagonally down a slight bit, that's it. Curve it and go up and keep going up and keep going up and stop. And let's add in the uh, moose's back and backside. Big curve there. They have these funny little tiny tail kind of things. And there's his patushi. And we're drawing that other back leg just there. 
and there you go adding in my little furry bits I usually do it like that just little lines little dashes on the back side and then I'm going to add them at the front onto the antlers as well just for a little little bit of artistic effect still doing the butt there we go and we'll put some at the front here now up on the antler I think he's pretty handsome do you no yeah I do I do I think he's handsome I think he's a bit of a spunk maybe like I say slightly dopey looking but you know that kind of makes him endearing that means you like him because he's kind of cute okay well there we go I'm adding in a few more dashes there on that other antler and you know you can keep going really there we go lovely fantastic we have our moose well done now for some coloring in ideas now I'm going to show you a pretty tricky way of coloring in and it might win you coloring in competitions so I use lots of dots and dashes and I blend lots of different shades in together so we get those nice browns and it looks amazing yeah you can try it give it a go or you can just do your standard coloring in did you know that moose like to swim here's a moose on a diving board oh here's a moose he's gotten in the pool and he's got his big yellow ring and he's got his pink snorkel and goggles oh he's so funny it's time for Kids Art School Gallery and we have a very interesting artwork that's been sent in. Neve has made a pizza bunny called Roadkill Rabbit. Thank you, Neve. That's uh, interesting. If you would like to send your drawing or artwork in or if you have any drawing requests, send them to Sandy Flat Kids Art School Facebook page or to my webpage sandyflatart.com and remember if you liked this video please press like and share and subscribe and remember that you are unique and you are special and God loves you and here's a little video just to finish off of the process I went through to draw a moose because I really had to look at it really hard because in Australia we don't have moose as I said we have other things that are really scary and generally trying to kill you but you know we are in a nice country but here you go. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye.